Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. So in today's video, I am gonna share with you guys how I make the most delicious, simple cookie dough oat balls. So these are such an amazing snack to just kind of have on hand, have in your freezer where those times where you just need a little something, maybe you're really busy working or you are busy running around chasing children, just when you need like a little something but you don't necessarily want to like sit down and have like a whole snack or it's just not really time for a meal but you need a little something, these are so good. I feel like I have tried so many recipes throughout the years for like oat protein peanut butter type balls for these little snacks and this by far is my favorite one that I've ever made for two reasons. One, I feel like a lot of recipes out there can just be too sweet, like overly sweet, where I don't really want some crazy sweet morsel. I just want a tasty but still healthy and wholesome just like a little snack that I can grab. Um, and another reason is I feel like these actually stay together the best. I feel like a lot of the recipes out there include oats and the oats just get kind of crumbly and they fall apart. And um, especially if you have little kids, like Hayden loves to eat these kinds of things. And if I were to give her one, um, like some of the other recipes I tried, they would just, I mean, it would be a mess. They would just like fall apart everywhere. So these actually really keep their shape and they stay compact. Okay, so first I'm just gonna run through ingredients that you're going to need. So first you're going to need some rolled oats. I love the um, Bob's Red Mill brand. That's typically the ones that I buy. And you're also going to need some peanut butter. You're going to need some almond flour. I buy these big bags at Costco. Um, so much cheaper to get almond flour that way. Um, we're also gonna be adding some chocolate chips and some chia seeds. And then for liquids, um, we're gonna be adding some melted coconut oil. This is also a Costco Wumbo find. Um, maple syrup and then some vanilla extract as well. And then of course we're gonna add just a little pinch of salt. So just a quick note about oats. Um, so I am actually going to be grinding these down into oat flour. I'm just gonna throw them in my Vitamix and blend them up until they kind of become um, more like a fine powder. Um, you could do really any blender if you have a food processor that works too, or even easier, you could just buy oat flour and use um, that instead. I just always have oats on hand, so we love oatmeal, so it just doesn't really make sense for me to buy oat flour because I can throw in the Vitamix, it takes two seconds. Okay, so I've got, um, this is one cup of oats blended up into flour from my Vitamix. I'm just gonna drop that in and that along with almond flour is going to be our base. So I'm gonna be adding about a half cup of almond flour. Okay, next I'm gonna add about an eighth a cup of chia seeds and then a pinch of salt. Okay, and next we're gonna start adding in our liquidy ingredients. So I actually have some coconut oil melting on the stove behind me, if you guys can see that, which we'll be adding in a second. But first I'm gonna add peanut butter. So um, I'll have the full recipe linked down below for you guys. But of course you've gotta have peanut butter because it makes it so delicious. Helps keep everything bound together. And also kind of gives it that like cookie dough flavor when you mix it with the chocolate. So I'm gonna add in four tablespoons of peanut butter. Okay, so then I'm gonna take um, some maple syrup. This is hands down my favorite natural sweetener to use. I love um, using this over honey. Honestly, not because I don't like honey, but because it's just so much easier to work with. Honey is so thick and sticky, and this is just so easy to you know pour out into whatever recipe you're making versus having to like scoop honey, at least if you're getting like the real good stuff, the raw honey, which is what I like to use if I use it. Next, I'm gonna add in some vanilla extract. I just love vanilla, and again, I feel like it kind of blends itself to that cookie dough flavor. Okay, my coconut oil is done melting on the stove sizzling hot, so I am just going to drain that in there, and then that's going to leave a beautiful coating on my 
skillet for when I go to cook with it later. So now I'm just going to mix everything together so we have nice kind of dough batter. Um, it's gonna be pretty sticky, which is what we want because we want them to form pretty easily into little balls. And then we'll go ahead and fold in the chocolate chips. Okay, so our dough is all mixed up and it's like the perfect texture for us to be able to form into little balls. And now I'm gonna add in the chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna eyeball this, but I do about one fourth cup. Okay, so now we have our dough all ready. And the last thing is just to roll them into, or roll it into little balls. I make them about the size of a golf ball, maybe a little bit smaller. And I'm just laying them out on a piece of parchment paper here. And then all we're gonna do is store them in the freezer to really set and, and kind of harden. Um, and then I actually just keep them in the freezer because I just think they hold their shape the best and I really like eating them cold. So let's get rolling. Okay, so now I'm just going to pop these in the freezer. 30 minutes should be totally fine until they're ready, just until they set. And then, like I said, I like to store them in the freezer. Um, from there on out, they'll also last a long time in the freezer. However, these usually don't last long in our house because we gobble them up pretty quickly. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you will try out this easy, no-bake recipe. These are just so great to have on hand when you just need a little something, but you want them to be wholesome and filled with good ingredients. Um, these pack a lot of protein, a lot of fat, um, a lot of fiber. So they are a great little snack to grab and you just need a little something. Um, I also love, this is so good you guys, I also love to take like two and I'll kind of crumble them up and I'll put them on top of, I love Siggy's yogurt, either plain or like vanilla yogurt as a dessert. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. So you've got to try that too. But that is all I have for this recipe video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope that you will try them and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.